Okay, so even though this is a very simple example, even the more complicated examples boils down to the same thing. All we need to do is make the angles of the trigonometric ratios positive and acute. And the steps are the same. First I decide in which quadrant that angle is. So if I draw my cast diagram, okay, there's my cast diagram. We know that this is 90 degrees, 180 degrees and 270 degrees and 360 degrees. Okay, so if I go in this direction I am adding, so 180 degrees plus. If I go in the other direction I'm subtracting, so this is 180 degrees minus uh, and this is 360 degrees minus. So 137 degrees is less than 180 and greater than 90. So it's somewhere in here. So we just draw it randomly wherever we think it might be. Now the question is, what is the angle that it makes with the x-axis? So we know this is 137. Then this must be 180 minus 137. What is that? Another 3 we get to 40 and another 40 we get to 80. So 43. Okay, now that we know the angle that it makes with the x-axis, the next question is, is the is sine positive or negative in this quadrant? And this is actually CAS, so sine is indeed positive. So this would be the same as saying sine of 180 degrees minus 43. Notice what I did. I wrote 137 as 180 degrees minus 43. So if I simplify this, I still get that answer. Now from this, this is like saying 180 degrees minus theta. And then I know it can simplify simply to sine of theta, but in this case my theta is 43 degrees. And that's it.
Why do I say that? Because sine squared, anything that is squared will be positive. It doesn't matter what the outcome is, it's going to be positive anyways. So negative times negative is positive anyways. So what we have is sine of 45, so we'll keep the negative just to just to be sure. Sine of 45 is 45, sine is y over r, so sine of 45 is square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, and this thing is being squared, and what do we get? Square root 2 squared will just give me 2, negative squared is positive, over 2 squared is 4, so my answer is a half. Okay, sine squared of 225 gives me a half. So for our final question here, we see we've got quite a few, and all we're going to do is do each one separately, and in the end, just do the calculation, okay, and do it without a calculator. The first one talks about sine of 315 degrees. Now, 315 degrees is more than 270 and less than 360, so we need to write it in terms of 360 minus. So sine of 315 is 360 degrees minus 45 degrees. Again, if I simplify this interior, I'll get 315. Tan of 120 in terms of 180 minus, 180 plus or 360 uh, minus, we see 120 is second quadrant because it's less than 180, more than 90, so we get 180 degrees minus what to get 120? minus 60. And finally, plus cos of 240. 240 is in the third quadrant. So we have plus cos. Third quadrant is 180 degrees plus 60 as well. Okay, now we can use our reduction formulas. Because we know sine 360 minus is the fourth quadrant only cos is positive in the fourth quadrant, so this must be minus sine of 45 degrees, divided by tan in the second quadrant, okay, where only sine is positive, 180 minus the second quadrant, sine is positive, so tan must be negative, tan of 60 degrees. Okay, and this one plus cos of 180 plus, 180 plus is third quadrant, tan is positive in the third quadrant, meaning cos is going to be negative. So when we multiply this positive with a negative, it becomes negative cos of 60 degrees. And this, I'm sure you can do, we did it before, let's see how it's done. First of all, sine of 45, sine is y over r for 45 degrees, tan is x uh, y over x for 60 degrees and cos is x over r for 60 degrees as well. So in the numerator, well the negatives we can cancel of course. So in the numerator we have sine of 45 is this 45 sine is y over r so square root 2 over 2 tan of 60 degrees 60 degrees tan is y over x, so square root 3 over square root 1, which just gives me square root 3, minus cos of 60 degrees is square root is x over r, square root 1 over 2, that's just 1 over 2. So what do we have? Okay, so if we simplify this, we get square root 2 over 2 times, this is 3 over 1, so tip and times, that gives me um, times 1 over square root 3 minus a half. And this I'm just going to multiply numerator and denominator here with a square root 3 to get square root 2 times square root 3 gives me square root 6. And here in the denominator I get square root 3 times square root 3 which just gives me 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus a half, 
Okay, and in order to subtract these two fractions, I need to multiply this with a 3 and that with a 3. And what do I get? In the numerator, I get the square root of 6, which is not a pretty number, minus 3 over 6. And that is my final answer.